Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the uh, Team of the Season arcade to check out. Um, as you guys know, we tried out the PTG version of this card, which was the... Not PTG, it's not Path. What was it called? What was it called? Let's see. Was it PTG? No, it's not PTG. Yeah, World Cup Star, that's what it was called. Uh, this SBC was really good really really good if you did this sbc during that time period this card genuinely would have lasted you a very long time okay he would have lasted you a very long time he was an absolute monster when i did his review i was like this card is awesome i love it right here's the thing this card being left-footed adds a lot of variables to it okay because being left-footed for that left center back area is really really cool okay so with the new team of the season version guys we are going to be trying him out on the shadow chemistry style as well as the lengthy chemistry style because here's the thing right 9497 okay remember that 9497 this card felt like i think during that time period i had to give him a shadow 94 uh 90, 94 sorry 9487 right take a look at this card on a shadow chemistry style 9385 with the defensive stats set up the way that it is. The difference now is that you could technically make him a lengthy player with the similar pace stats. Now, obviously, with the meta of the game being a little bit different now, you know, pace being a little bit more relevant, there's a couple of situations you're going to have to look into, right? But it's an interesting thing, right? Interesting thing for this card because on an anchor, similar pace stats, has the higher acceleration, lengthy will push the sprint speed, good defensive stats, and good physical capabilities. So a couple of interesting things here and there, but a shadow chemistry style would also not be wrong because he's a controlled player with very high acceleration. So depending on what types of defensive situations you find yourself in, that wouldn't be a horrible choice either because on a shadow, his physical stats is still in the 90s area with a 99 for jumping. So some very, very good stuff there, okay? So shooting, no shooting, passing, passing is gonna be in a good area. That's a W for center backs. Dribbling, all in a good position, all of it, right? Even reactions at a 90 for a 90 for composure. Really, really good stuff to work with there. On a shadow or an anchor, you are going to be working with good defensive stats no matter what, right? It doesn't necessarily feel like you have to give him a shadow for that little bit of extra interceptions on the card for the little bit of extra physical stats that you could be getting, right? So a little bit of a trade-off there in a, in a, in a small sense. Um, but yeah, with this card in-game, guys, definitely going to be an interesting one. No traits, no traits, but we are going to be trying him out in the defensive positions in this new five-back that we're trying out. Uh, playing in the actual center back position, playing right down the middle. So, yeah, we'll see what he's like. Hopefully, he's a beast. Hold on, Ake. Oh, man. Oh, but Ake. Okay. Yes, okay. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Laurent Blanc plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defense. Jorginho plays alongside Danny Ceballos. Nicely done. The Spartans. That's what they need. Mendy. And return to Gabriel Jesus. Ah. So Gabriel Jesus definitely has that feel to his body type. I can already feel that right away with the regular left stick stuff. Oh, look at Ake. Let's go, my boy. And he still gets the ball. What a beast. Gets to that. So Bosloy, plenty of space on the wing for the Spartans. Casemiro. Manual defending works out. Big trouble in the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Yeah, it reminds me of his uh, World Cup card, man. That transition speed is fantastic to work with. 
Now nah, we're good. Transition speed is fast with him. Dude, defending with this card is just fun, man. I'm telling you. Like, he just has that right transition speed that's, like, great to work with. An effective challenge. Second man press works out. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Wish it was possession based, but that works too. Oh, we're good, we're good. We're held, held up, held up. We're good. Like that quick. All right. Fly challenge and random mechanics. Nice challenge. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Oh, thank goodness. Those battles will win the game. Is the lineup for the home team. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake plays. Manual defending works out again. Rodrigo plays with Musa Diaby on the play. Oh, great opportunity. Oh, get the rebound. Really? 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 And now Rodrigo. Diaby. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. I had to make that challenge or else I was in trouble. He got the ball afterwards. Position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we have action from foot rivals coming your way. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to Oh, that was weird. I, I my command had to be a little bit different there for me to collect that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new team of the season, Nathan Ake card. So guys. It reminds me of what he was before, just a better version of it, honestly. Uh, it's a really good center back card. It's a really good center back card for multiple reasons. One, uh, I would have put it past people to give him either the anchor or the shadow, depending on their defensive style, as well as the way that their tactics are set up, okay? Because when this card is on a lengthy accelerate, it moves pretty well on the pitch, right? 94 acceleration, 87 for sprint speed. As you guys know, we use a shadow on the card before and the pace is perfectly fine to work with for the most part, right? You would just get into those situations where you would utilize his acceleration more than anything because his acceleration works with his average body type 5'11 height in a certain way where it just works out great. But not only that, but you boost extra physical stats on the card too at a 99 for strength, 95 for aggression. Now, the main reason to give the card a shadow ke chemistry style is going to be two different ones, right? So if you notice that your defending is more based off of switching to the player and then initially accelerating with him, then obviously giving him the shadow is gonna make the most sense because you give him extra acceleration, but you also give him extra interceptions and interceptions being perfect guys, even if it's a plus three, four, whatever it is, it makes a really big difference for the card. So whichever trade-off you wanna get for the type of play style they're gonna be working with, it genuinely doesn't matter. The card is still gonna perform really well. Him being a left-footed card is a really big deal to work with in that left center back position. But another big thing to work with is the fact that, sure, he's 5'11", average body type, but he actually jumps really well in game. Like if you actually go for like corner kicks or for crosses in general, and you're holding the clearance button to basically head the ball out of play or, you know, head it into the midfield position, 
He's fantastic at doing it. He actually, you could tell that his jumping is as high as it is at a 99, which is great. It's a really, really huge plus to work with. So yeah, generally speaking, I think Nathan Ake will definitely be a card that uh, people will use in their teams. You know, playing that left center back area is definitely going to be the most ideal situation because most people go for shots across goal. And with him being left footed, it's very helpful to work with in that situation. So yeah, definitely a W card. He performs really well. Like I said, I really really enjoyed the SBC when they first released it. So it is, it's just a better version of that SBC. So W, W card. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.